Across the West, record heat and extreme drought have canceled firework displays in several places. But with COVID fading, fun has returned to the 4th of July. CBS's Lilia Luciano is in Pasadena, where the show will go on. That's right, Jerica. Tens of thousands are expected here at the Rose Bowl for Southern California's biggest fireworks show. Last year, it was held virtual only. This year's theme is fittingly celebrating America's perseverance. <laughs> July traditions are back and Americans are celebrating their freedom from COVID by filling beaches, packing parks and watching parades after enduring 16 months of pandemic pain. I love it. I don't I can finally get some air and breathe. Anheuser-Busch's famous Clydesdales are marching again in Indiana. In Kansas City, the Navy Blue Angels and the Air Force Thunderbirds are soaring high. And in New York's Coney Island, there was this feast of sorts. 76 hot dogs downed in record time. Still, Americans aren't free of COVID. We definitely are concerned about the variants who are kind of, kind of trying to be more careful. There's good reason. The highly contagious Delta variant is now found in all 50 states. But there's still a lot of vulnerable Americans. But COVID concerns were not enough to cancel summer trips, with air travel setting a new pandemic record this holiday weekend and flyers waiting in long lines at check-in and gates packed full. There was a lot of people, so, I mean, looking for seats, we sat on the floor. Tomorrow will likely be the busiest travel day, but for tonight, millions of Americans will get to enjoy those traditions that had been put on hold. Jerica. All right, Lilia Luciano, thank you.